Welcome back to the guitar with Mr. Wright. Today's lesson, we are going to do some finger exercises. We are going to do chord progression, C, A minor, F, and G. And then we're gonna learn how to do a bass line with your right hand thumb, okay? So some cool stuff. Uh, let's start with some finger exercises. So, uh, all right, here we go. I am going to uh, raise my chair. Can I do that? A little bit let's lower the camera a little bit so you can see my fingers a little bit better here and finger exercises are great for strengthening our fingers and and uh it's gonna be really important all right so let's uh do the chromatic scale here and let's do doubles today so we'll do you can either do like this with your fingers one and two and like that or you can do a pick down and up okay and we're going to so going to go open. We're going to work all the way up, low string, all the way to the high E. Okay. Make sure you're tuned, of course, and with your strings E A D G B D Eddie eight dynamite good by Eddie. All right, here we go. So doubles, nice and slow. Ready, begin. Open. First, second, third, fourth. Now open on A. string two three four G string B string open two three four E string open one two three four we're going to reverse it now two here and two backwards now ready begin four three two one open B string open G string open D string one open A string four three job if that's too fast you can slow it down and uh, put it at three-quarter speed or even half speed okay and there you go if you want an extra extra thing you could make do it twice as fast if you want and play along with this okay let's do uh, chords C a minor F and G really common progression this is the one chord in C six chord minor six F is the four chord and G is the five chord in key of C C a minor, F, G. Today I'm going to do F, uh, this, you can play F like this, you can play it like this, that's a bar chord. Today I'm going to play, it's almost like the C chord. Here's my uh, F, I'm gonna put uh, my third finger here and bring the pinky here. And what that's gonna enable me to do is later on, we're gonna do some picking technique where I hit the F note here and the uh, C note here. So I'm going to figure F this way today. It's very, very similar to the C chord. This would be the C chord. And then F chord, this goes here, and the pinky goes here. And of course, this finger covers two strings, not just one. Okay, so C chord. I'm going to rotate A minor. F chord. But I'm going to use this fingering. And then the G chord, you can finger like this is fine, or like this, or even like this. Any of that is fine, okay? So C chord, A minor, F chord. Today I'm going to do it like this. And then G. Okay. All right. So let's start with just a little strum. Uh, one and let's just keep it really simple. One and two and one and two and three. Let's go to A minor, A minor, 
two, three, four, F, two, three, and G. Back to C, C, two, three, A minor, two, three, F, G. If that's too fast, you can stop the video back up and slow it down a little bit. Uh, three quarter speed, half speed, okay? All right, so those are the chords we're using. I'm now gonna teach you a little baseline technique. This is new and this is going to be huge. This is, uh, let me play the difference between without any bass line. So here's some chords. So here's just some plain strumming. A minor. So this is plain strumming. F chord. Not bad there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong nothing wrong with that now today what I'm going to teach you is a little left hand technique where I'm hitting the root of the chord so in this case G so I'm gonna so what what I'm doing is here is my C note in the C chord right there right there's the C note but I'm changing the fingering a little bit so that I'm, I can hit that C and then the G. One way to do it is to actually move the finger. C, G, C, G. Or you can simply finger it this way instead and then I don't have to move my finger. It's really up to you. Some people want to move the finger. It sort of mutes the string. So some people want that, but it can get a little tiring to do that for, you know, you got an, an hour concert, that's a lot of movement. And so you may want to just, maybe a whole lot easier just to do that. So C, G, C. So notice how I'm using my thumb here. I'm these, these three fingers are plucking up. My pinky holds me in place. I'm anchoring on, uh, using my pinky as an anchor to stabilize my hand. These three fingers are playing those three strings and my thumb will move around to the low end string. So my thumb is a bass line. Okay, A minor has that same pattern in here. And this one I don't have to change, it's simply the A note, E. A, E, A, E, A. I'm gonna go to the F now. Now F, if I bar chord it, I could play F, C, uh, let me do it a little better. I more commonly actually, here's normal F, maybe that I play, and I'm just gonna move that finger down and play like that. F, C, F, C, F, C. You could, if you bar chord it, you could go F, C, F, C if you wanted. That'd be another way to do it. Uh, my I commonly usually just do this. F, C, F, C, okay? Next is the G chord, okay? Now, G, G, this is the low G. Now to get to the fifth, it would be a D note, and so G, D. So you're gonna actually skip a string if you want it. Okay, you can also go through this B note if you want, G, B, D. instead of the D, you can play just the B instead. B, I'm sorry, G, B, G, B, G, B, and we can kind of mix it up. G, B, D, B, B, D. But see how that thumb is creating sort of our bass line. When we put it all together, it'll sound like this, starting with a C chord, nice and slow, ready, go. 
Lots of people are going to scroll up here a little bit if I can. 